the home of local Christian music. Amplify podcast. Make loud his praise.
me, Lord, for I want to follow. Fill me up, I don't want to be hollow. You give me joy when I am in sorrow, and hope when there's no tomorrow. I don't want to be hollow. You give me joy when I am in sorrow and hope when there's no tomorrow. God, thank you for your son Jesus, my source of strength and joy, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Died and redeemed me from my sins. Lead me, Lord, for I want to follow. Fill me up. I don't want to be hollow. You give me joy when I am in sorrow and hope when there's no tomorrow. Lord, hold. My hand and lead on. With you, my battles are won. You make me strong against all my foes. With you, I will not be wrong. Lead me, Lord, for I want to follow. I don't want to be hollow. You give me joy when I am in sorrow, and hope when there's no tomorrow. Lord, I want to trust and obey you. Transform me into someone new. Light up my path. Show me your way. That I may follow you day by day. Lead me, Lord, for I want to follow. Fill me up. I don't want to be hollow. You give me joy when I am in sorrow, and hope when there's no tomorrow. Hope when there's no tomorrow, for it's you, my Lord. You're my Amplify Devo. Be refreshed, be renewed, be restored. Hi, Amplify listeners. In today's Amplify Devo, we will be talking about mountains be moved. And the scriptural reference can be taken from Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, For assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Moving house is hard work. The amount of packing and moving of furniture requires a lot of logistical planning and physical strength especially when it comes to large pieces of furniture, is only possible with the help of professional movers. Some items like wardrobes, dining tables or refrigerators are so heavy they need multiple people to move them. 
And if you have a grand piano without rollers or wheels, good luck moving it. Such a delicate instrument can't be shifted simply by pushing or lifting it. The same principle applies to a mountain. No matter how many people have successfully scaled the highest peaks, no one has ever physically moved a mountain. It's impossible. In today's verse, Jesus speaks about moving mountains. Whether he was referring to a literal mountain near them or not, the disciples were certainly facing a mountain in their ministry at that moment. In the preceding verses, we read about a man whose child was possessed by a demon. He brought the child to the disciples for healing, but they could not drive out the demon. The man then came to Jesus and explained the situation. After lamenting their unbelief, Jesus rebuked the demon with his words and the child was healed immediately. When the disciples later asked Jesus why they had failed, he told them it was because of their unbelief. Perhaps when the disciples were healing the sick, they have seen success in curing ailments and diseases, but when they encountered the demon-possessed child, they may have suddenly doubted and thought, there's no way I can do this, or God, I think I can't heal him, or even this is simply impossible. Their focus shifted to themselves on their own ability or inability to heal rather than on God's power and willingness to heal. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, Jesus says, With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Unbelief can arise in two ways. One, when we focus only on our own ability or lack of therefore, to overcome the challenge, and two, where we doubt that God is either capable or willing to help us. This belief is essentially the opposite of trust. When mountains rise against you in life, do you trust that God will move them for you? You might think, I can't do this because I don't have enough faith, or I'm not spiritually strong like others. But when you think like that, the focus turns inward and you become overwhelmed by your challenges. It's not the size of your faith that matters. It's the size of your God. That's why Jesus says that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, God will move the mountains for you. When you trust in God despite your circumstances, He will work miracles in your life. He will move the mountains for you. What mountains are you facing today? Is it a financial debt, a strained relationship, a health battle? Our mountains can take many forms and they can feel overwhelming when we face them. But it's not about the size of your mountains. Is about the size of your God. The God who created the mountains and the entire universe, do you think He can't remove your mountain of debt or problems? He loves you so much that He sent His beloved Son Jesus to die on the cross for your sins. He took your punishment and death and gave you eternal life. Do you not believe that He will move the mountains in your life? When you trust in His love and know that He is for you, no problem will be too big or too small for Him to handle. Place your trust in Him and even the smallest amount of faith will allow Him to act. He will come to your aid and every mountain will tremble and fall at His feet. Don't face your challenges with your own strength, but in the powerful name of Jesus. Confront your mountains with the authority of Jesus and watch them tremble. Nothing will be impossible for you because you have a mountain-moving God with you. Continue to trust in Him even when you don't see your mountains moving yet. Your breakthrough is coming soon. 
Envision your debts cleared and your problems solved one by one because you have a great big God with you. Remember, with God, all things are possible. It's not about the size of your faith or your problem. It's about the size of your God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you acknowledging the mountains in my life that seem impossible to overcome. But today, I choose to shift my focus from my own limitation to your limitless power. I trust that you are a God who moves mountains and nothing is too difficult or too small for you. Strengthen my faith, even if it is as small as a mustard seed, and remind me that it is not the size of my faith that matters, but the greatness of who you are. Help me to rest in your love, knowing that you are for me and not against me. I lay every burden at your feet and trust in the name of Jesus to move the mountains in my life. Thank you, Lord for your power, your faithfulness, and your love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have been blessed and touched by God's love and want to receive this gift of salvation from God today, say this prayer together with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that I have faced mountains in my life that I cannot move on my own. I realize that I need you, not just for my challenges, but for my salvation. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and rose again to give me eternal life. I surrender my heart to you today and ask you to be my Lord and Savior. I trust in your power, love, and grace to move the mountains in my life. Thank you for forgiving my sins and giving me a new life in you. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you have said this salvation prayer for the first time and believe that Jesus is your God and Savior, congratulations, you are a child of God now. Do find a local church, get yourself a Bible and continue to tune into our Amplify podcast too. Write in to us to let us know that you have received Christ as your Savior on our program so that we can celebrate with you too. God bless you and may you experience a wonderful journey in your life with God from today onwards. Stop.
everyone, this is Douglas here from Amplify Studios. Hope you have been greatly blessed so far in this episode by the songs and devotion. So far, we featured No Longer I by New Creation Worship, Lead Me Lord by Hard Driven Music as well as Color Home Music, Eileen Lau's song called Have Your Way as well as Song of My Soul by Revival Fire. 
If you have been greatly blessed by our podcast and want to support this ministry, do join us by being our patron today. You know, as our patron, your giving will not only help us to keep Amplify running, but also you'll be helping us to preach the gospel to the rest of the world through this podcast. So if you want to see Soul Safe, do go to our website, which is www.amplifystudiosg.com and click on the Support Our Ministry tab today. Thank you so much for your support. And if you or your worship ministry has songs that you want to get them produced and bless the world, you can come to us at Amplify Studios and we will gladly help you to produce, record and mix, master your worship songs professionally at a love gift. Yes, you hear me correct. We do this for a love gift of any amount that the Lord has put in your heart. So don't hesitate to contact us today by emailing us at amplifystudios.sg at gmail.com today and we will get in touch with you real soon. And lastly, if you love the songs that you hear on our Amplify podcast and want to hear more of them collectively, you can follow us on our Spotify playlist called The Best of Singapore Worship. We have a collection of local worship songs that we periodically add and change. So we pray that no matter where you are, you can always be blessed by these songs. And okay, before we end today's episode, we will be featuring Awakened Generation song called Most Beautiful, taken from their live worship album, Worth It All. And lastly, an anointed song called There's a God by Kuz, Church of Our Saviour. And that's all from me today. I pray that you have a great week ahead, chock full of God's blessings, breakthroughs and miracles. So remember, stay safe, stay blessed and stay tuned to the best mix of local worship music only on Amplify Podcasts. Make loud His praise. Hi everyone, I am Clovis from The Encounter Music and you're listening to the best mix of local Christian music only on Amplify Podcast. Make loud his praise.
my soul and gave his life for me Who freed me from my sin To wash my sins away Listening to the home of local Christian music, Amplify Podcast. Make loud his praise.